So Forbes put out their 15 most dangerous cities in the United States list. And if you look really closely, you'll see uh, Chicago's not on this list. Chicago, here's a fun fact for you, actually. It's not on any top 10 most dangerous cities list in the United States and has not been for like the last five years. And when I tell people this, their brains like do an error. Like I watch them do like a like a system reboot because this is in stark dislocation with everything that they've been hearing in the news and in the media, particularly conservative media, which has a vested interest in making large Democratic run cities seem like they're just completely overrun with crime. And the second you touch down, you're going to get shot or stabbed or something like that. So it's, it's always funny to me when I'm talking to somebody from outside of the city or the state or even the country sometimes and we get to talking about Chicago and uh, they're like, but isn't it like really, really dangerous there? I'm like, well, look, Chicago has struggled with with crime just like any other big city. We had a spike in, in crime and violent crime in 2013. Since then, we put some time and some resources into fixing the issue where it's not been perfect, but we've been working on it. That doesn't work because this talking point is so ingrained in their head. They're like, but 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 I I, I saw an article and it said this many people died over the weekend. So let me let me explain something to you all because I think that I found the problem. I don't think people know how big Chicago is. The Chicagoland area has 10 million people in it, okay? That, there are 233 countries. 61% of those countries have a population of less than 10 million people in it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like there are 59 countries combined that have less than 10 million people. So 20, 20 people getting shot over the weekend is bad. It should not happen. I don't want it to happen. I work in a field that's like attempting to reduce that. But I want you to understand 20 people getting shot in an area that harbors 10 million people is very different than 20 people getting shot in Little Rock, Arkansas. One of those is like significantly worse. Does that make sense? Do we understand how per capita works? So the next time you hear this talking point, uh, Chicago being like the most dangerous place in the world, like just, I want you to just remember, it's not even top 15.